Welcome to Itrafik. In this video, I am going to explain question number 10, question number 9 and 10. So, first question number 9. We have to write the logic to replace the first occurrence of an element in an array. For example, if the elements are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, and we want to replace 3 by 0 means on the third occurrence, whatever it is, we want to change it, then the output should be this one 1, 2, 0, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3. So, what will be the logic? The logic will be like just we will write a suppose the array name is num, so num within square bracket 0 equal will write just 0, then the first occurrence will be changed it to 0. So, how we will do it? First, we will take a variable integer and and we'll define it we'll take the input of n from the user in and we'll store the number of the elements of the array so we'll write a printf statement within the printf statement we'll write enter number of element then one slash n now we'll go to the next line here we'll write scanf statement in scanf statement we will write within double quotation percent d after that comma and person n again semicolon now we will write uh, declare the array so int suppose the array name is num and within square bracket we will write the sizes n and one more variable we need for counter that is i so after declaring the counter variable now we are going to take input to the array for that we will write 4 here we will write i equals 0 because array always start from 0 that's why it is 0 then semicolon i less than n then semicolon again i will be plus plus sorry one came pipe symbol actually it is plus then within curly braces will take the input to the array so here we will write printf statement here we will write enter element percent %d and slash n and instead in place of percent %d we are going to display the value of i plus 1 because the i value is already 0 so 0 plus 1 it will be 1. Now next line scanf statement here we are going to write percent %d then we will store it in ampersand num within square bracket i so this is for taking input to the array now let's see whether it takes the input or not run So uh, asking me to enter the number of elements, suppose 4 elements, enter element 1, 6, 8, 4, 3. So it accepting, uh, accepting the input. Now we are going to change the first occurrence. For that we can write num within square bracket i. Now here we are going to initialize the value as 0. Then semicolon. Now we are going to display the output. So we will write 4 i equals 0 i less than n semicolon here i plus plus then within curly braces means within inside the 4 we are going to write one printf statement. So printf here we will write 
percent d and little space after that comma here we'll write num within square bracket i now let's run the program so enter the element i am entering three elements the element one nine six then five so sorry something is wrong here we have to write num zero not i equal zero now run the program so enter the element so writing three elements nine six and five now you can see the output output is zero six five the first element is changed into zero so this way we can change the element of an array but at particular position this we have to write the index of the array now if we want to display messages like uh, the array after change the first element change then we can write this after this line one printf statement and there we can write the elements of the array after change and one slash n sign so let's run the program enter the element suppose five elements nine eight seven six five so you can see the first element is displaying as zero and before the array we have also displayed one customized message that is the element of the array after change now let's move to question number 10 write the logic to replace the last occurrence of the element in an array now what will be the last element of an array suppose my array is of uh, capacity n then the last element will be n minus 1 so the array will be num inside square bracket n minus 1 so let's see how we'll do the question number 10 the to solve the question number 10 the program will be almost same as question number 9 just in this line line number 14 in place of num 0 we are going to write n minus 1 equal 0 now what happened the last element will change into 0 now let's run the program asking me to enter the number of elements suppose 5 elements and I am entering the element as 3 4 7 5 and 6 now you can see the last element is displaying as 0 now let's move to the question number 11 write a C program to replace all the positive positioned element in an array by 0 positive positions means uh, number like at first whatever number come that one is odd position the second one it's come in even po even position <coughs> so if we say index well that means one three whatever number comes in index one three five that number should be replaced with zero now let's do the program the first part will be same first we have to take the input and the last part will also be same where we will display the output now at line number 14 we are going to use another for loop here we'll write 4 and uh, the logic will be same inside i equal 0 then semicolon i less than n and again semicolon i plus plus now inside this for loop we are going to write one condition or logic of the program that is if the position is i so if i modulus 2 double e double equal 1 or not equal 0 so anyone we can write we can write double equal 
1 then what we will do within curly bracket we will write num within square bracket it is i equal 0 then semicolon so i have changed only the middle part of the program the remaining part will be same the first part we are going to take input to the array second part we will change the event position numbers to 0 and the third part we are going to display the output now let's run the program something is wrong let's see what is wrong so i plus plus not just one single plus now let's run the program enter the element suppose i am entering six elements entering the element as two three four five six seven now you can see at the event places all the numbers are zero like two zero four zero six zero now if we are going to change the odd, odd places not even then what we will do this will write zero then what happen odd places number will come into uh, change into zero now let's run the program suppose number of element is six and i am entering the same number two three four five six seven eight so you can see now in odd places all the numbers are zero now let's move to the question number 12 write a strategy to replace all the odd numbers now what we are doing in earlier program we change only the positions odd positions and even positions now we have to change all the odd numbers into zero so how we'll do the strategy will be same first we'll define declare an array then we'll take input to the array then the logic will be we'll compare all the elements of the array by dividing 2 if there is remainder then it is an odd number and we'll change it to 0 so what we will do instead of i here we are going to write num within square bracket i num modulus 2 here double equal 1 then num i will be 0 now let's run the program so we have to do only this much changes the remaining part will be same as question number 10 or oh, remaining part will be same as question number 11 now let's do it enter s5 then element 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 7 now you see all the odd numbers first i am writing 2 it is even so not change then 4 it is even not change 5 it is odd change to 0 6 even no change and 7 it is odd change to 0 now if we want to change only the even numbers what we will do just will change this one 1 to 0 now only the even number will change it to 0 let's run the program now suppose number of element as 5 and we are entering 2 6 5 4 8 so you can see here only the 5 was odd number so only 5 we can see here and rest all are displayed as 0 now let's move to the question number 13 write a program to store your name and your mother's name into two different strings and display them one after another so to do this program we need string array or character arrays so first reset the program now we are going to declare the arrays so we'll write here character first name here i am going to store the name and i am giving the size as 20 and comma mother here i am going to store the mother name and giving the sizes same 20 and semicolon now we have to take input for that we'll write printf here enter your name 
dance lesson and we are going to take input while we are taking character arrays input we can directly write puts we can directly write gets gets mean get the number from the user get string we don't have to write for loop we can uh, take the input by using for loop also whatever you like but this is the short form so we'll write gets gets means get the string then within bracket we'll write name then after the bracket we have to give semicolon and again we'll write printf statement here we'll write enter mother name then slash n and we have to take the input again so we'll write again gets and within bracket we'll write mother and semicolon now we have to display the output for that again we'll write printf statement here you will write uh, you entered here we'll use puts option puts means display the output put it to the screen put string so within the bracket we'll write first name then semicolon and again puts within the bracket we'll write mother so this way we can take input to a string array now let's run the program first asking me to enter your name suppose the name is rahul and mother mother name is sabita now let's see you it came as you entered rahul and sabita this way we can do question number 13 and question number 14 i have already did you can check uh, in comments section to get the link i hope you have understood the programs whatever i have explained here thank you for watching see you in a new video till then take care and bye